Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Logitech G29 steering wheel to Rigs for Odds. If you have never done anything like this before, we are going to start out by going into our documents file. So, usually you'll be on your desktop, right, whenever you get here. You want to click down in documents. If you have the newer windows, or the newer Rigs of Rods, excuse me, it'll show up under My Games. Rigs of Rods. And then you're going to go into your configuration file. You are going to have all of these little text document notepads in here. You're going to go into your input notepad, and it's going to be under a map file. This is what controls all of your commands in game. Um, it's how you command the vehicle basically with your wheel. So usually it'll be set up with all of these keyboard. Um, if you've never set it up with a steering wheel before, it'll show up under keyboard. And that's how you control it with your keyboard functions. For the wheel, you're going to have different, you're going to have joystick buttons, you're going to have a joystick pad, you're going to have a joystick axis for your um, accelerate and brake options. So if you take a look back in here with all your notepads, you can click on the G29 and this will give you pretty much a whole um, array of um, inspiration basically this can be your inspiration board for buttons that you want to add into the game I will show you mine real quick I did not go with the buttons that are provided. I wanted to do my own because these don't cover everything. These, so you'll want to copy your accelerate and your brake and your clutch um, if you use the clutch. But then for all of the joystick buttons on your steering wheel you can configure those in any way that you please um, just have the setup that you want okay so before we start changing things let me explain what these semicolons do do you notice how each section is labeled airplane boat camera but it has a semicolon before it. That semicolon tells the software not to read whatever is after the semicolon. So it won't read all these, it won't read each heading, it'll only read the lines that we configure that don't have a semicolon before it. So I'm going to go ahead and add semicolons in front of the ones that I'm going to change that way if I ever want to change it back it's already in the input file I just have to delete this semicolon okay so what I did right here is I just copied these and pasted them down below so that I wouldn't have to retype everything out and then this is where we're gonna start changing things so where it says keyboard and then control plus four we're gonna delete that and we're gonna type in joystick button it is important to note that whenever you type in joystick button only the J and the B are capitalized everything else is lowercase I don't know why the software doesn't like the S in joystick to be capitalized but if you take a look back here 
Oh, never mind. That's my fault. I must have typed it in accidentally whenever I was doing mine earlier. But just make sure that S isn't capitalized. Only the J and the B are capitalized. Otherwise, I won't read it. And then this is where we can configure our buttons. So right here, I have pulled up a sheet. However, I want you to note that before you just go running ahead of me, that these buttons are not correct for rigs of rods. For whatever reason, the rigs of rods software, whenever it reads that your input map, whatever button you have in here is not going to be the button that you see on here. So I will put a little um, configuration sheet of my wheel with the buttons that are correct that way you guys can input the correct buttons so here you would see the X would usually be button 1 that would be correct for probably everything except rigs of rods now before we get too ahead of ourselves let's go back to our input map remember we filled out joystick button say we want button 1 okay so say we're not doing rigs of rods and we want button one to be the button that we press for air brakes full so joystick button we're gonna go over here keep everything lined up zero space zero or zero space one and that will be for button one however keep in mind that rigs of rod software reads this differently so button one on here is not going to be what we put in our input map okay so I went ahead and paused and made this little button layout and paint.net so as you can see whenever we saw button 1 on here for X it's actually button 0 for rigs of rods and basically if you can you can tell the pattern here all of these buttons that show on here it is gonna be one less for rigs of rods so this on this sheet says button 25 and button 24 it's gonna be button 24 and button 23 so if you go through, and if you want to go off of this sheet, just make sure that you put one less than what it shows on here. But go ahead and pause, screenshot this, because these are going to be the correct buttons for rigs of rods. Okay, so now we're going to go back in our input. Remember what we said. So joystick button one is gonna be joystick button zero. And you're gonna do this for every one that you wanna change. So just delete the keyboard. Joystick button. Say we want for air brakes less. Say we want the circle button, so we're going to put joystick button 2. So on and so forth for everything that you want to do. Now remember you need to copy and paste your accelerate axes and your brake axes. Now for mine, what I did, my setup has the brake pedal is sticky, so it wouldn't let go of the brake. So what I had to do is whenever I put in my truck brake right here, I used the clutch pedal instead of the brake pedal. So if you want to copy, if you want to use all three pedals, make sure that you go in your documents, configuration file, Logitech G29 notepad, scroll down to your truck accelerate, your truck brake, and your truck clutch. 
You're going to put all three of those in if you want to use all petals. Once you're done changing everything how you want it, you're going to file, save, exit out, and then we can go in rigs of rods, and we're going to test it out. Everything should work if you followed the input map. Okay. Sweet. All right, and that, my friends, is how you input your steering wheel for rigs of rods.